Mutations of chromatin regulators are a common occurrence in cancer. The genes encoding the histone methyltransferase, MLL4, and its binding partner, the histone demethylase UTX, are frequently mutated in a variety of human cancers. MLL4 is encoded by the KMT2D gene. Because they introduce early stop codons into the KMT2D mRNA transcript, the majority of KMT2D mutations found in cancer have been assumed to generate loss of function alleles. Working with the laboratory of Dr. Ali Shalatafard at Northwestern University School of Medicine, Assistant Professor Dr. Zibo Zhao discovered that unique amino acid sequence properties and biological functions of mutated MLL4 contribute to the high prevalence of KMT2D mutation rate. However, by generating MLL4 allele-specific knockout cells, Dr. Zhao discovered that mutant KMT2D transcripts can actually evade nonsense mRNA decay. Instead, these transcripts are expressed as truncated proteins that localize to the cytosol rather than the nucleus. In addition to loss of nuclear function, including decreased histone H3K4 monomethylation and dysregulated gene expression, truncated cytoplasmic MLL4 has potential oncogenic gain of function in the cytosol. Dr. Zhao, in collaboration with Dr. Meeks, a physician scientist and urologic oncologist surgeon at Northwestern Medicine, tested bladder cancer patients with MLL4 mutations, demonstrating the cytoplasmic version of MLL4 with IHC technology can be used for patient stratification with bladder cancer. Correction of the MLL4 truncation mutation restored MLL4 compass function in cancer cells suggesting that restoration of normal MLL4 function at the protein level could potentially be used as a strategy to inhibit MLL4 mutation-induced tumorigenesis or to alleviate symptoms of the congenital development disorders caused by MLL4 mutation. Dr. Zhao and Dr. Shalatafard previously demonstrated that tumors with MLL4 truncation mutations are markedly sensitive to inhibitor treatment targeting de novo purine nucleotide synthesis. This finding suggests that MLL4 could potentially be used as a biomarker for prognosis and patient stratification based on predicted sensitivity to targeted therapies such as lomotrexol.